always quite involved. We have one for another. And, uh, you know, if we can do some good and, and we can show our love in, in regular, in good ways, you know, in, in real ways, we should do that. It's, we have to do that. Yes. Yes. We have to be there for one another. And that's what it's about. And Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you, which is a tremendous goal, you know, and it's something we all strive for, but that, that you know, maybe, I don't know what's going to happen when we leave this world, but, you know, we have that hope and uh, we have that, that assurance that Jesus gives us in his word. And I thank Pastor Dave for that word of encouragement. Yes, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he gave us his word. His word is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's the same thing. And I'm just uh, so grateful and to be here today and to take part in this six years celebration and to see Pastor Benny, you know, we kind of related in over the years and it's, it's just so great to see the call on his life. He always had a call on his life and to see it coming to, to, to reality, you know, and, and all the things that God has in store for him and for this ministry. We just thank God for all of you. We're so happy to be here today. And I just want my wife to say a word. She she has a word. What do you hear? Amen. <laughs> yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh, praise God. Uh, we bring greetings from Far Rockway, from Four Gospels Tabernacle, yeah. from our pastors. Pastor Carlos and Maggie Hamilton. Yes, hallelujah. Um, we just suffered a, a loss in our church. Our former pastor yes. passed away at a young age. But you know what? God has his people that are faithful, faithful in the house. And my husband, as well as the Hamiltons and the Pentos, you know, we were there to lift up his hands and for God to complete the work that Pastor George had these men stood there and had his calling fulfilled and that's what the, and that's what the church does we we lift up our pastors and we lift them up in prayer because as we lift up our, our pastors God is speaking to them and just like Psalm 133 says that you know where there is unity it starts from the head from the head down to the body so as you pray for your pastor um, the blessings will fall down to you and to your children. Uh, today we were uh, going around and uh, Pastor Benny and Natasha, they were saying, and I would like to buy this land and for the homeless and for this. And he was just talking real big, real big. And I said to myself, my, I said, honey, we should stop thinking that way. We serve a big, Amen. 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 That's right. It right. was all this excitement and just wanting to do so much for our Lord and our Savior. And it's not just, you know, for us, but it's but it's to take men and women yes. out of their bondage. Yes. They're, 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 they're going to hell. And we are, we are the the in between man, between God yes. and us. We are the, there's no plan B. There's yes. only A, and that's us. Yes. And we're the ones to carry out the gospel to those that are lost. Amen. Yes. And that's yeah. what full gospel, and I see Pastor Benny's on fire for God. I said to myself, you know what, you know, to me it's important. A a an anniversary every year for about 30, 40 years, I sat in the church, and every anniversary I stood there and just listened to see what God had to say to the church. To me, that was the most important thing. Scripture verse that I that uh, the Lord put in my heart was is found in 1 Corinthians 2 9. But it is written, eyes has not seen, mm. nor ears heard, yes. neither have entered into the heart of man. Yes. The things which God has for them. 
that loves him. Yes. How many of us love Jesus? How many of Amen. us love oh, hallelujah. the salvation that he yes. has? And as he reveals himself to us by his spirit, yes. we will see great and mighty things. Yes. So I just want to say, pastors and love brings, you know, you know, with all your heart, with all your soul, serve serve the Lord. Yes. You know, when it's all said and done, when it's all said and done, it's just it's just us before yes. an awesome God. Yes. And tonight here we've had the privilege to know this awesome, awesome God. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Sometimes I said, I don't even deserve all this love, this unmerited love that he gives Amen. us. This unfailing love when I fail. Yes. He, he, just, he just loves me more and more and just puts me in that path of righteousness and holiness. Yes. People, we serve an awesome, yes. an awesome yes. God. And you know, I just encourage you to love him with all your heart, to thirst for him, to yes. hunger for him, yes. and you'll see things happening in your lives, in your church, in your family. So I leave you with the word of the Lord. God bless you all. And pastors, Benny and Natasha, Victoria, I'm such a beautiful young lady. She served us. Usually with my kids, like they roll their eyes, you know, but she has been so graciously, just loved us so much and welcomed us, so we thank you. And I just want to say it's so good to see Full Gospel Tabernacle. Yes, yes.